guys welcome to this tutorial so today we are going to be working with this image i believe all of you might have seen this on my instagram handle so what i've done in this image right now is i removed the blemishes as you can see so i don't want this video to be too long so we are just going to start our frequency separation right now and the, the whole retouching process so first and foremost that we have to crop it to instagram size because i'm using majorly all my work on instagram okay so here's our instagram size four by five then and then i duplicate the layer i name this layer lower then i duplicate it again and i name this layer high yeah okay i group the two layer we disable the higher uh, frequency layer then you work on the lower frequency layer come to your Gaussian blow I will be using the radius of it in this image then after that you enable the layer again then you come to your image go to apply image select your lower frequency layer then blending mode will be subtract your scale will be at 2 and your offset 128 then your blending mode here now will be linear light then after the for you to know if your frequency separation settings correct you know that you notice there's no difference between the original image and what i've just done now so you disable this your higher frequency layer for a better result if you don't disable it anything you see in vera so just gonna work here now firstly we have to miss this image now you use a miss our brush tool so one thing you must know about frequency separation is that if you miss it like this you will ruin the image so we just have to carefully miss the the, the highlights and the shadow just blend them in a way that it will look pleasant to the eye so it will ruin everything so from here we just gonna continue missing it just be careful don't be in a hurry so if you are doing it for the first time so you probably take much of your time so just don't rush just do it carefully there's an easier way you can do this frequency separation there are many techniques imagine you have like 50 pictures you have to retouch so sometimes you won't be able to do this method if you are not used to it so in my next video i'll be doing the easiest way to run frequency separation like in less than three minutes you are done and you get to get a good result but personally for me for me touching i prefer using this method because i feel it's the best so just carefully miss don't um, disorganize the original shape of the image so miss your shadows uh, carefully then the highlights blend them blend the missing point the meeting point so just carefully miss everything together okay so so just carefully in this cheek area you have to be very very careful because in this area you can you can automatically change the, the shape of your model's face here yeah around this area so you have to be careful while working in these areas so just miss it carefully yeah. so this area then the neck these neck bones just work on them they bring beauties to your to your image carefully work on them so if you are still watching the video kindly subscribe refer people then comment what you want me to work on next time in my next video what you want me to do what you want me to teach just drop it in the comment section and i will be replying everybody's comments yeah so just carefully miss the whole area don't ruin your image so okay Just carefully miss this area. Okay. Let's continue missing.
it's constantly missing the whole thing then don't be in a rush guys don't be in a rush just carefully miss it you get the result you want and after some time you get used to it so there are many techniques in running this frequency separation as i said earlier so in my next video i'll be teaching the other techniques you can run your frequency separation your dodge and bond easier and faster way but if you still wants to go with this it's okay because me personally I prefer this method so let's see what we've been doing so far here's our before here's our after here's our before here's our after so as you can see the difference is already there and you are getting a great result yes yeah, so just pay attention to details every single details in your image matters a lot so is it then from here right now I'm going to be going to the dodge and burn they come to your curve just bring it down a bit then control I to invert then you to create another curve layer then you brighten it up a bit then you invert again after inverting you group the two and you name it I will just say dodge and burn D and B okay after they create a visible layer, I use black and white. So after black and white, you just take down your reds, then you can easily identify where your dodge are and where your bone are. Then you take your brush to let the opacity be at a 10 and your white should be your foreground color. So first and foremost, then just dodge. And I mean, I'll burn this uh, dark area here. Yeah, after burning this area, just carefully burn this area, burn this area here. Carefully work on them. Burn, burn. Don't rush. If this is your first time of doing this, don't rush. Just be careful. Take your time and do the work and you get a better result. I don't want the video to be long. That's why I'm just doing this and I've been down it's kind of used to me so don't rush so you know in your image okay if you want the raw copy of this image you can just hit me up on Instagram and I will gladly send it for you yeah send me a message on instagram and i will gladly send you the raw copy of this image i didn't shoot it but i really love the image i like the concept so we we'll see our dodge and bomb we've done that so see our texture coming out already so this is how we made this this image okay so after all i would like to do to place a stamp visible layer then i would like to work on the eyes but i prefer doing that after my color grading so it won't affect the image so what i'm going to do now firstly i'm going to use this the yeah, idea on um, photoshop 2020 and above it has this feature that automatically selects the background of the image so i'm going to use that to select it now so i will just work on the background okay so after selecting, just click on my laser tool here and select inverse. Use the feather radius of two for a better result. Then I'll we'll just come here. Okay. Here on saturation, we we'll do that for me. So I will just change the color of the background to match with the skin, kind of. We just change the color of the okay so same the way we've changed it but if you don't want to use that hue and a saturation you can also use this color um color a uh, selective color so we're just gonna control z to use this selective color here so 
can see just blend with, with the color of your subject so this is how we got this and create another stand visible layer again so what I would like to do now just comb this place just tick my red up a bit the yellows and add a little bit of magenta then go to my yellows bump it up a bit add a little bit of yellow and bring down my magenta here so what i'm going to do now is go to the black add a little bit like one is okay so you can see before after before after the colors are really coming out already and then i'm going to go to my banner color balance so my shadow i will add a little bit of more red to it okay and uh, highlight okay yeah so my me too now still add a little bit of red and yellows then reduce the magenta a bit the opacity is too much you just reduce the opacity which is around 60 see the before and after before and after so everything is really coming out in this image to work on the eye mostly why i did that eye so from here just come to edit with field then 50 percent gray come here and select color dodge okay then you invert after inverting it you come to that brush, your brush tool and let your foreground color be white then just walk around it here okay then to whiten the eyes we're just going to do that right now then to invert the black and white layer again that's the easiest way to whiten your eye in my other video i will be showing you guys other techniques you can still achieve this eye whitening but if i want to do a, a faster job or the easiest way i use this black and white and it works perfectly for me so first of all i'm gonna bring this down a bit and this here so So you can see before after before after this is how we touched this image so see you guys in the next video thank you for watching